I'm the lone long ranger. Shout out to the Navy SEALs, Sniper Division. Pow. King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to part three of my NBA 2K16 wish list. Now to answer a few questions before we hop into this video, this video is solely about my career. If you wanna know about my team, my league, my gym, any other mode, this is not the video for you. We're gonna be talking about my career, my part, rec center. That's all it's gonna be about one mode, ladies and gentlemen. Now. Let's hop straight into this video. We're gonna be talking about simulation basketball and cheese. Yes, it's time to lay everything out on the table and I got some strong feelings about this, so let's hop into it, man. First off, dribbling. Yo, first of all, nobody should be tripping after somebody quote unquote steals the ball. There's no reason a player should be tripping. The only time a player should trip is if a player is tripping literally over a ball after running for it. He should never trip at all, come on, man. Seriously, if a person kicks the ball, we trip and lose all control of our player for more than five seconds, uh-uh, take it out of the game. Skipping, I like skipping. I like skipping down court. I damn sure do not like skipping from the three-point line to the foul line. No, take the little hesitation move out that makes us skip after doing a crossover so we can't drive to the lane full force. Now, I know that it's to negate a lot of poster rises, but come on. We should be able to drive in full force, full speed with whatever stamina we have left after doing that combination. If you guys take out the skipping, just deplete our stamina more with the moves that we use, okay? It shouldn't be, oh, well, we're going to let this guy skip because uh, I just think that he's going to poster rise with this dude every single time. No, take that out. Let's talk about kickballs, man. Come on, kickballs. Are there, are there even, you know, kickballs in real life? Yes. So why aren't there more in the game? Come on. I've seen a dude play FIFA 15, get a goal, and run back down the field on NBA 2K15. No reason that um, NBA 2K16 should be hurt with this whole non-kickball cause. Give us more kickballs, man. I promise you, please just do it. Now, let's talk about dribbling packages for a moment. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, they're kind of packages right now. You have crossover one behind the back one hesitation one no none of that stuff actually matches well crossover one and behind the back one don't mesh i want real packages i want to be able to say dribbling package number one with these set skills that work for good setups whereas though if i do a, a nice crossover where i kind of bring the ball out far and i do it behind the back that's kind of tight that shouldn't happen. A person that has a handle that kind of extends their wingspan should be able to have their wingspan used for every move they have. If they do a behind the back, it should go way behind the back. Wingspan length. If they do a, a spin move, the ball shouldn't be tight. It should be fully extended, man. this People need to use their wingspans in this game, and I think packages will help. Now, let's talk about shooting, man. Shooting actually is fine. I like the whole normal, quick, late thing, but I do not like the shot meter. I'm just going to stand here and say it now. The shot meter is hurting the game. So many people complain about shooting because of this shot meter. If you take shot meter out of the game, I guarantee you, with the way people miss and make shots, they will not complain about missing a shot if they don't look down at that meter and say, oh, it was on the line. It was on the line. If you take it out, people won't complain. Just take it out, man. Real rap. Let's talk about dunking for a moment. Dunking is completely fine to me. I think that there are a couple animations that need to be taken out of the game, especially the baseline cheese. If you took out baseline dunking cheese, you would be totally fine because I've seen people drive baseline, get stuck in an animation, and leap from one side of the court to the other side of the court and dunk if you took those simple dunk animations out or made them so as though they were actually tighter more under the court for the the uh baseline cheese it'll be fine like say for instance a person drops to the basket and he gets to maybe about the first line leading to the paint if that person can jump from about there and kind of like windmill it that'll be fine but i don't want to see a dude straight up laying looking like he's laying in a bed and being able to dunk to the other side of the court that makes no sense now uh let's talk about double teams for a moment double teams 
are more effective when the computer does them, not so when the user in a computer or user and user do it, but don't instantly make the double team effective when the computer runs it. Give the user some time to scan the floor for a pass because I've seen a lot of people have problems with the double team, especially my boy Shakedown. When he's trying to pass out of a double team, he throws the ball out of bounds because he may not have the best passing attributes. It shouldn't go like that. If a person is about to get double teamed, he needs to back up maybe one or two steps, scan the floor, and see if there's anybody open coming from that double team. You have to give us time to actually use our simulation basketball tactics instead of trying to run for holy hell out of the double team and get stuck anyway. Now let's talk about stealing. This is my true feelings about this. We should be able to tap to swipe and hold to lunge on steals. And what I mean by this is when a person is standing there and they're trying to steal a ball from somebody like ball on, on ball defense, if you tap it, you should be able to try to swipe. But if a person is playing the passing lane, they should be able to hold the button to lunge or if they're tall enough and the passing distance isn't that long, they should be able to swipe at the air because I've seen so many times where I've wanted to lunge, but I've only swiped. That doesn't make any sense. If I want to lunge for a pass because I know I'm short and I'm a point guard and I'm not a seven foot cheeser, I should be able to lunge at the ball instead of swipe at the air. Makes no sense, man. Also, take out the intentional foul by holding the button. If you want to have intentional fouling, make it like calling a timeout again. Just change it back. Let's talk about passing. Lead passing is terrible. Even if you don't want your teammate to run to a spot, he does anyway. If a player throws a ball and he lead passes it, the computer takes it every single time. And even if you're playing online, if you lead pass somebody, sometimes you throw the ball out of bounds because that player is a user and he had no intention of going where you wanted to throw the ball. Now, I will say, if you tap to pass to a spot, That'll be dope. And if you hold it, you can lead pass. Now, what I mean by this is, say I have a person trailing, right? And I know he's going to the basket. If I tap X or I tap his icon for icon passing, it should be able to throw it in momentum. But if I hold it, I should be able to lead him where I want. So if I want him to cut out to the three, but he's cutting to the basket, I should be able to make him stop his momentum and then bounce out a little bit. So if he's cutting to the basket and he's like halfway to the distance of the rim, he should kind of stop and then like take two steps back and then receive my pass. Not just, oh, I'm gonna run this way, get the ball stolen and it's over. No, that's not how it should go. Now let's talk about defense. Get rid of the auto drop down defense. Give us the full use of the player so we don't get stuck when someone wants to go one way and cut back to another. Make us be able to jump to a spot real quick with the right stick defense. Our right stick defense is way too slow. You should not be in quicksand. We cannot be standing tall when in right stick defense. You need to be able to move fast. Use R2 to your advantage. If a person is holding L2 and R2, he needs to be able to move and drop down defense when he engages it just not as fast as the player dribbling but enough to hop to one spot and if he hops to that spot and it's the wrong spot then he won't get rewarded by playing good on ball defense he'll get cooked all right now let's talk about rebounding man if a ball is tipped to gain control that's totally fine but two hand grab animations should not make the ball tip and Pete if it happens when a defender touches the ball, it should be a steal. Not both of the players got the rebound. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, but I didn't get the rebound. But I got Tally for the rebound. And he stole it from me, but it's his rebound. That's not how it should be. If a player gets a two-hand rebound, right, and he comes down with it, a player should be able to swipe at the ball to steal the rebound. Not try to go after his rebound and take it. And, oh, oh, it's over. Oh, because he tipped it. Come on. Come on, guys. Really? 2K, what's up? But look, that's all I got for now, man. Part 4 will be out soon. Um, if you're new to my channel, man, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video, comment, share. Tell me your thoughts on this uh, wish list, man. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. This is IKC signing out. Peace. King Carter. King Carter. King Carter. I pop. King Carter. King Carter.